That was fast. What? That you were very, very prompt. Thank you. Like you're boom on the ball. I pride myself on that. Although I did not have time to put my lift liner on. So you're going to watch me do that now, Stevie. This is That's fine. That's fine. I'm just happy that you showed up for the, um, for the, the interview. Yeah. Thanks this for is, having me. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. This is going to be very easy. It's going to be a 45 minute thing. Uh, we have uh, Nikki Howard from the Sorry Mom podcast. Correct. What's up? That's me. And the last time it's been a while since it's been a while. How you look good. You look Thank good. You. you do too. You Thank do too. You. Am I I do I look the same? You look like you're thriving. <laughs> you're thriving out oh, here. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. The same to you. The same to you. Thank um you. I didn't we the last time we connected, it was a uh, you and Sydney came yeah. through, right? Yeah. 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 This is this one's focused on you. Um, yeah. individually, because we did. I don't know if we had a chance to get your like background info, my whole story. Yeah, you're well, not the whole. Well, if you want to, yeah, well, where no. are you where are you originally from? I'm from Florida, Florida. Yeah, okay. well, I was born in New York, and then as as the Jews do, we moved south, okay, because the wet, the warm weather, right? Yeah, okay, and then because I, I did some research as well, okay, um, yeah. you ended up attending the New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts. I did do that. Okay, so back. can you build up to that point as well? Um, okay, well, um, I always, I went to a, I always was like, I wanna do, I wanna act, I wanna do comedy, I don't want like a real job, like I don't need college, like let's, who are we kidding here? Um, so mm -hmm. I ended up like, uh, going to a performing arts like magnet school like a middle school so describe what magnet means i have never heard that oh it's like a, you audition to get into the program to go to the school so what kind of things did you have to do uh you have to do like a monologue and they give you like scripts but it was they had different programs so there was like a music program so kids would like try out to be in the music program so we'd have like normal classes you know like math and stuff but then for like a quarter of the day, we would do like acting classes and whatever that was. Do you remember um, some of your favorite movies that inspired you growing up? Can you name a few movies that kind of inspired you as well? You know, um, I was more stand up, and I remember I th my parents had no concept of what was appropriate for a child. Um, I realized that because I thought everybody like like TV shows like my mom is older so she didn't really know i grew up watching south park as yeah i love park. i love your mom and your um dance you. uh, music videos she's adorable she's a gem oh but, my god yeah, she so shines she would watch south park crank anchors she's like they're cartoons obviously for children that's yeah cool. but that's like so i always was like this is great um and so i my dad was big into stand up so it, but it would always be like richard Pryor's playing in the background i remember specifically watching Bigger and Blacker, Chris Rock special. Mm -hmm. And I remember just being like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. And I don't even know, it was, I was so young that I can't even believe that so much of it registered with me, but I remember loving it so much. My mom took my brother and me to uh, like Barnes and Noble and I got the book. Oh, wow. It's, yeah. almost, it's, it, it's just a transcript of the special. And there's a picture that I have just, you know, mid nineties, my brother and I in the back of the car, I'm reading that book and my brother's reading Howard Stern's Dirty Words. And we're yeah. just like little kids, just like with our fucking Walkman on. Like it's our pretty little... mature for that age to like know, especially prior, cause that's like- I know, it's like old adults school. like, I mean, that dude's, man, he was a genius. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so th that got you, I, didn't, I had no idea. So the stand-up got you interested yeah, in acting just, and all that. Yeah, yeah, just being like, I can make people feel how I'm feeling right now and yeah. also like escape my own life. Like, why is everyone not doing this? Um, so I went, I had horrible grades um, in, in high school because I was like, why bother? Yeah. You know? I'm yeah. in the plays. I'm close with the administration. Like mm -hmm. we all know I'm not, I'm not fucking going to college. Um, but right. for some reason I thought I would get in, I was like, I'll go to like an acting school. So I'll just, I'll, I'll try out for one school. And 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Tish. I'm gonna go to NYU. I thought I had like a 2.8 GPA. Oh, that's prestigious school I, I really is I, but i was like i'll you know blow them away with my incredible monologue and they yeah were like, that, was, that was a great audition do but... you remember what the monologue was of i don't okay but it was a movie or something or a play i, th I think it was a movie i think i had to have two i don't remember fuck that's okay it's okay but i rem i think one was like a dramatic and one was comedic but i remember yeah. going to the audition and being like Great. And they were like, great. Uh, let's just, we just have to see your, you know, your GPA. And I'm right. like, mom and I looking at each other like, fuck, how did we miss that? So we ended up just walking around New York, just like, f like, fuck, like, are there schools near here? Yeah. Uh, and we stumbled upon that school. Like we the had conservatory for dramatic yeah. arts, the New and York was, conservatory. Yeah. And I, my, my mom was like, can we walked in and I was like, can I audition? Like, I just, when I came from Tish and I'm not getting in, so I need help. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, yeah, you can audition, I guess, stranger. You don't have an appointment, but I, I auditioned and I ended up getting a scholarship to go there. You got a, wait, you got a scholarship? I did. Was it a full scholarship? It was majority scholarship, which oh, was- Oh, that's great. Yeah, so that was really cool. Um, so, I mean, it ended up, and it was only like two years. How big was our campus? Can you describe the uh, the, the campus the experience? Was yeah, two uh, two level building, uh, two levels of a, a building in New York. Oh, it was, so it was small. Was, yeah, it was so small. It was oh. not even. It wasn't college. It was just like a place you go to during the weekend. Like there's classes that you have to go to, and so did you, you. You did. You obviously had to move over there to New York. Yeah. Yeah, so I moved to New York when I was 18. So what was that like? Uh, how did you find a spot? And what was it like living in New York at, when you're 18 years old? That's a fast city, you know? Yeah, well, my, so my parents got divorced. My dad, um, when I was young, I would go back and forth. So my dad lived in New York. Um, and then, so I'm like, I was used to just the city. Um, yeah. So I, I there were dorms in... Um, Oh, like, I know all about the dorms. You know about the dorms. <laughs> the, the dorms you get it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the dorms Spent many in, of years in the dormitories. Hell yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, these dorms were in Brooklyn Heights, and mm -hmm. I used to um, just commute back and forth. And then you know, once you're the, you have to move out of the dorms after your first year. Um, oh no, I stayed until yeah. like year seven. I know. I was like, can I get to be one of those RAs? You know, where they like, how do I get in? Oh, this re residential um, yeah. assistant. Yeah. Um, uh, the RAs got free housing. Yes. And I, they was, I mean, the slots were full. So I had to find a place. Um, and I remember my mom grew up like essentially in New York. Both my parents are from like generations of New York Jews. Like, yeah. So there, but my mom hadn't lived in New York in a really long time. And so I remember being like, mom, can you, I, I have, I have a job, but I cannot afford to live. I was like 19. I was like, can I have some money to live in a place till I can save up? And she was like, yeah, of course. Like how's like, and my mom's concept of like how much rent was, was oh. from like the six my mom was like, how's like 400 bucks. I'm no, like, you need four thousand. And I least. was like, I was just so grateful. I was like, I can make it work. And With so four hundred dollars. So, so when I tell you, I found it. But I had also like, I had a job, so I was like, maybe I could get like, you know, I could figure something out. So my mom actually ended up coming, coming out to New York, and I was like, so proud of myself. I was like, this is like, I'm an adult. I found this spot, and I was stoked. I was like, Mom, I cannot wait for you. Yeah. Place. I was signing the lease that day. She came with me. Wait, 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 wait. How did you find the spot? Where did you just go on Craigslist? Or Craigslist. Or yeah. And so, so can you just was it a flat? Was it a one bedroom? Was it a studio? A what what studio, kind of apartment was, it was this? A studio. Um, ground ground level in. I think it was. God, I I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was a place you do not want to be. So it what? Was, what borough was that? I it was I think it was in I think it was in Brooklyn. Okay, I I, I felt like Brooklyn it on the might have yeah. been, It might have been Bushwick, but like not Bushwick now. Right, right. I'm not too familiar. I've been there, but I don't know the geography that well. It, it was not good. 
but I was stoked because I had, and it it was, it, the square footage, it, like, it was so small. Is this smaller in my apartment? Oh, easily. So it was, so hold up. So that means it was half the size of this. It was so, it was so small, Stevie, that like, I, I can't even, the, it was like a jail cell. It really was like, it was so small. I, but- I think I know the size because in, when I went to Arizona State, I, I moved into these dorms called Ocotillo and my room was like a jail cell. Yeah. With a you sink. Get it. With yes. the sink. And the sink, it was like you had, where you could touch, you could reach everything you needed. Oh, uh, yeah. Fridge and wash your hands in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. So and it so was a dinker. It, it was, was it, yeah. Yeah. It was troubling, but I was stoked. I was like, I can, you know, I could get on Pinterest and I can make it work. Yeah. And I was just grateful that my mom was willing to help me. So I was like, I sh- bring her in. I, we walk in and my mom's face drops like I've never seen and she started to cry she was like you were gonna live here and I was like yeah she was like what do you and I was like well this is what you can get for like the amount of money that how know, much was it? how much was it it might, it might have been like 650 bucks a month or something oh is, okay was, uh, all was, right yeah affordable. You, could, you could work with that yeah it was That's I cheap. I could afford it. That's cheap. It was cheap. Yeah, it was really cheap. Now in 2021, how much would that be? Probably easily a grand. $8,000. Well, I don't know. Area, I'm sure, is super nice now. Yeah, it would have been quadrupled. Yeah, but my mom was like, you can't live here. And then she ended up giving me some more money. And then, but then after- after Wait, so so did you, did you end up moving there? Or did I did get not. My mom would not let me. I was like, it's fine. She was like, it's you'll die. You will die. Right. It was that small. Oh, yeah. But so, it, the area was very unsafe. Or let's talk about the place you did move into then. Okay. So after that, I ended up living in a spot with a roommate for one year. And then after that, my mom was like, I can't pay anymore for that. Like you got to figure it out. So you had a hustle. You had a hustle. So I got a different job and I moved in. I moved to Harlem on the top floor of a six floor walk up. Dang. In a, in a three bedroom with five girls. Whoa. You had to live with that many people. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, yeah, but it was like, it was mostly the stairs. It was the hardest part because like people wouldn't deliver us pizza. They were oh. like, you live on the top floor. It's a six floor walk up. You come down here. I'm not walking up the steps. Oh, Just it like, must have been a nightmare. How did you find, who are these people you're living with? People from school. Oh, did you necessarily like them? Yeah, I like them. I mean, it was just kind of like, I'm in New York. Like I need a place to live. Yeah. Like, well, I can like you enough to live with you because I have to. Do you know what how I mean? Did you, how did you hustle? How'd you get your hustle on there? Like, you- um, so I, I had a job working for this restaurant. Were um, you waiting tables? No, I was a pizza prostitute. So I stood outside. I was like a barker. Oh, yeah. well, describe what that is. Is do you oh, have okay, to like so, sell? Like, hey, yeah. there's pizza here. Yeah. So you stand out front essentially, and you're like, "Do you want pizza?" And oh, people are like, no, so no. You gotta promote. You're a street yeah. promoter. Yes, yes, a pizza prostitute. Oh, so I, I did. I did the same thing in Arizona. Yeah, you get Barrow's it. It's, like, it's, horrible. it's horrible. I Nobody actually, wants- I actually had to take flyers and I had to hit every single dorm room. Really? It, on my skateboard, and then I would put flyers in people's dorm rooms. But I feel like at least people like you're in college and like people want pizza. You know what yeah, I mean? but it was there's a lot of rooms I had to go to and complex, not only dorm rooms, but all the apartment complexes neighboring the campus. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so keep going. This is this is interesting because, yeah. you know, I'm like, I could get visuals off your New York yeah. experience. Keep oh, going. yeah. Yeah. You, you've never you never lived in New York. No, I never lived there, but I have uh, been there. Uh, yeah. We did. We did a couple shows there. Like, yeah. Yeah. You never lived there. No, I don't. I would die. I would die within a month. You don't. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, I feel like everyone should live there for a little bit and then not live there anymore. It's too fast paced, man. It's just so expensive. Not only that, it's a different energy. People are like, yeah. get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm it walking. Is. I'm walking. Yeah. I'm walking. Yeah. And then I remember just 
observing the people on the street and they were all hustling like this guy's like peanuts yeah. peanuts yeah. here peanuts yeah. peanuts yeah and, you know i'm like oh this guy's like hustling at like seven in the morning selling peanuts oh, at a peanuts. Peanut stand. And peanuts are good too Have you but had- you know what i'm talking about you yeah, no, no, no i just heard i heard him like hustle peanuts yeah. peanuts yeah. you know yeah. and then i remember walking to starbucks and then i was realized i was walking too slow oh no yeah, because people gotta, are like, get out of my fucking way. And yeah. I'm like, whoa, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not from here. No. Yeah. And they know that. Yeah, they can tell by your energy. No, I'm California all the way. Yeah. Just I could just lay in bed all day. I moved here and I was just like. Yeah. Do you, what? you know what? It makes sense. Do you, you still kind of have a little bit of that New York energy in you, don't you? Like hustle, hustle, yeah, hustle. Yeah. You have to. That's yeah. why I'm, like, I'm glad I live there. So now I'm like, I feel like I. So this is easy. It's a, it's a, a cakewalk here for you, huh? I mean, I don't. It's you just. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it is nice to like, you know, have a car, and you can put stuff in your car. Like go to the grocery store, and you can put groceries in your car, and then drive. You don't have to walk. Oh, that's. I'm so glad you brought that up because yeah. in New York, you don't need a car. Right. Yeah, it's just you need a cart. People, a lot of people have carts. I refuse to get a cart. It's so you would have... take the subway everywhere. You could just take the subway everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh... When I was living there, they didn't have Ubers either. They're, that's like a newer thing. So. So I was just... this is like early two thousand? No, this was like a, probably like two thousand ten to like two thousand thirteen. Mm, okay. Yeah. And so okay. Damn, this is interesting. I didn't think we'd spend this long in New York, but I'm not, I'm not. We're here, we're in the we're, we're, we're in it, we're in it. Yeah. So after, so you attended for two years and then what motivated you to, cause you, you've accomplished a lot since then. It, I, 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 cause I did research, you're with Gersh Agency, you've done commercial, like Sprite commercials yeah. or Old Spy. Like before that all happened, what motivated you from New York to pursue Los Angeles? Um, I was very cold. I was very poor. And I thought I could be equally as poor, less cold and have a better quality of life and still do what I do here. Yeah. And I just, my mom, I was like so depressed. It was just so cold. My mom was like, I can send you a light that you can sit under that's supposed to help with depression. And I was like, wait, 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 come again. What kind of... Yeah, it's like a UV light. This is a real oh. thing. And I was like, like an iguana, like an iguana. Oh, bird. it's like a light. Yeah. Oh, oh, because it gives you the UV. I, was uh, like, I think I should move. I think I should move. Right. And yeah. so did you just decide on a yeah. whim and just got a plane ticket and then? Yes. So or did much- you solidify a spot first? So my best friend at the time that I was living with in New York, one of the five, we shared a bed in the okay. in- in the bedroom situation, just to give you a layout of how that actually worked. Um, I was like, we, let's, we gotta fucking get out of here. And she was like, all right. So I went on Craigslist and I looked up just places in LA. And I, of course, you have no concept of how far away anything is when you move here. Yeah, so, everything's so spread apart. Yeah. But I remember I, I had come here and I visited friends of mine that had moved here already and they were living in Panorama City. And all I remember is, think, is looking at the map and being like, I don't want to live there. Where's so, Pan- where Panorama like, City? Where is that? In Van Nuys-ish. Oh, Van Nuys. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. I, and they were like, we didn't know when we moved here that we should probably shouldn't have lived all yeah. the way here. You know, so where like, did you decide to go then? So I ended up finding a spot. It was a two-bedroom um, a mile and a half from the beach in Venice for a thousand dollars a month whoa that's unheard of no twelve hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars that's, that's still unheard of that's still unheard of and it was the reason that we got the spot if people were moving out and they needed someone to sub sublease it yeah they, yeah yes, they were gonna move out that's they, so crazy you were by venice i was in venice yeah that's and so I, crazy you brought that up because like on uh, my youtube feed i i, I watched these um videos on like different places like the homelessness yeah. Problems. Have you, do you know that Venice is like tent city now? Can I tell you, I, when I was living there, I had a homeless man, uh, 
walk into my apartment and crawl into bed with me. What the That's fuck? Story. Yeah, because my roommate, um, she works at a bar and like, she was saying, she was like, I for, I she texted me like, I forgot my key or whatever. Like, can you just leave the door open? I was like, sure. Like, yeah. yeah, sure. With hindsight, probably shouldn't have done that. But it, at the day, it wasn't that bad then. So anyway, I did, I, I remember hearing someone in our apartment and thinking like, oh, she's home. Like she brought, she would like bring people over, whatever. Yeah. I didn't think anything of it. I turn over and I feel a body like get in. And he was like a young kid, still homeless, but you know, it wasn't like, and I just remember like, what the fuck? And I pushed this dude. And I remember that he had Fritos and a skateboard. And I just said like, take your fucking Fritos and get out of my house. And I shoved this guy out. He left. I locked the door and I remember sitting on my bed and being like, okay. And I fell back asleep. And in the I'm morning, surprised you didn't say, Stevie, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I was like, did not, he, he was like, it was. <laughs> you it was said Fritos in a skateboard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently that's Stevie, the, what the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> the people's guy. Yes. Um, All right. Yeah. So he was, uh, that's breaking and entering. Oh. I mean, he broke a few laws. I remember waking up and being like that. I cannot believe that that happened. And I, I don't, I, it didn't seem real. And I looked on the ground and there were Fritos on the ground. And I was like, that fucking happened. And I told Did, my mom. You didn't scream or you didn't grab, grab a baseball bat? I just, he left. I was like, get the fuck out. And I uh, startled him and he left. Like he wasn't a violent homeless person. And Thank that you. happened what year? Um, That was what, the year I moved here. I don't know. It must have been like, it was either the end of 2013 or the beginning of 2014. I'm telling you, it feels today there had been 10 people in there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the state of Venice Beach I lately? It's, you know, it's, it's fucking crazy. It's getting really bad everywhere. Like here, like in North Hollywood, it's insane. I mean, there's tent encampments even on every side street on the sand. It's crazy. But then if you put yourself in their shoes, let's say like if I was homeless, where would you oh, want to go? 100 percent Venice. I would because check this out. They have shower. You know, they have public yes, showers. 100 percent. They have bathroom showers. You could uh, panhandle on the, um, you know, and the boardwalk. There, there's tourists that are vulnerable mm -hmm. and they'll be like, OK, like they're not, you know, they'll give yeah. you money. They'll buy your mixtape. Yeah, or you could sell art. You could just paint all day and you you sling your yeah. art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you could get that hustle, then no problem. All right, so I didn't mean to get off topic, but I, I, I just popped in my head because I'm yeah. like, because I've been watching these videos. It's fucking crazy there right now. Um, like they, watching videos, you're not going. You're like, I trust the video. I'm not going there to see it. Oh, I'll no, this guy's he's a, like he documents it like oh. this. Uh, I don't know what country he's from, but he he like really? he like he he tapes the whole. There, there's no bullshit. He like yeah. tapes everything and he it's tells you nuts. it's crazy. And, and he even went there. You know how it rained a few days ago? Yeah. Yeah. He went that day and he's like he was like he felt bad. You know, he was empathetic yeah. towards him because it was like. All of their tents were getting all wet and stuff, and it was crazy. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I, so Venice. Yes. You got a really good deal back for back then. And I didn't want to move. And my roommate was working in. Where was she? Was she I think she was working in Hollywood. I called the cantina in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and she got a job there. And she was like, "I want to move so bad to Hollywood." And she's like a partier, and I was like. I just rode my bike to the beach every day. I was at the beach. Like, yeah. I'd pull laundry and ride my bike to the beach, come back, change it, go back to the beach. I was just always there. Dude. So I was just like, dude, I don't want to move. But, and I was like, we're never going to get, by the way, this place was a shithole. Like just, not, it was just. Like what, what made it a shithole? Did you have uh, uh, cockroaches? Uh, borderline cockroaches. But like, like the pink tile in the bathroom, you know what I'm talking about? Everything, it was really small, just really old. Yeah. Like, it just was not, it just really dirty old carpet. And no, it was, it, the heat didn't work. Like it was just, but it was 1200 bucks a month. And I yeah. everything is like, it doesn't matter because we're right here and it's so cheap. Utilities included? No. Oh. But they were cheap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Market. We didn't have air conditioning, so it's like I've you know. never heard a place in Venice that was that cheap at all. 
I know. Ever, ever, and, ever. And our landlords, they were this old couple, Marty and Bess. And Bess had a SUV and every panel of it was painted a different color. And she, oh. so when I went into, she was like, we don't do credit checks. Like we don't Hippie. like- Hippies. Hippies. Very hippies. And we like the vibe. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Cause I don't have credit. Right. And, I like I need a, a cheap ass place to live so this is perfect let's fucking go so so I, how long were you there for I was there for like a year and then Saturday. okay and so I, you went from Venice to Hollywood Holly, Hollywood Boulevard have you been to no vacancy I lived off the boulevard to be honest I, with I you. lived in no vacancy like in that pink is building. that by Whitley because I live by Whitley yeah so I was on Wilcox in Hollywood okay yeah 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 so Dude, my that that apartment I was in was Cockroaches, yeah, cockroaches. It's yeah. And it was people don't realize that it was people think Hollywood, you know, Hollywood, you know, it's, it's all glitz and glamour. It's no, it, it it got really it's it got dangerous. Yeah. When you're on that close to the fucking boulevard. Yeah, you're not, in danger. You're yeah, in danger. Danger zone. Call Kenny Loggins because we're in the fucking danger zone. Yeah, I remember I. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I remember I was working at Amoeba and I walked back up to my apartment on Whitley and it was at nighttime. Yeah. And I was at, there's a corner store and I, w I got to the corner store and I heard this um, dude, um, this black man, he uh, had a shirt off and he had uh, his hand like this. He's, and he said, bring your gun fool. Like he, he was like talking this gun talk and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I can't go to my apartment right now. Yes. I was so scared. <laughs> He's like, bring your like gun, fool, bring your gun. And I'm like, oh shit, I just, I'm tired. I just want to go. Do I have to go all the way around yeah. up off the, the, you know, that long the hill of Whitley and then walk down. I don't I know, know what exactly to do. What you're talking about. It's I was scared. The, um, that weird club and then the porn store that. Yeah, yeah, there's club. a check cashing yeah. place. Do you know <laughs> where that check like, cashing? Oh yeah, the, on the corner. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's, it was around there. Porn, he's like, bring, bring, bring your gun, fool. Yeah, <laughs> just I, like, oh, fuck. Like, uh, I'm fucked right now. Yeah, I just sell records, man. Um, yeah, I'm just working as a cashier. So yeah. how did you? So how did you find that spot? And who'd you so move a, in with? A friend. I moved in with the same girl, a friend of mine. Um she lived there and she was like a spot in my building just opened up so like if you want and it was a, a little bit more expensive but it I mean it was a nice place yeah um, and i i got my dog um who is a 100 pound long-haired german shepherd oh. and it was just the situation and it's so fucking loud. i go to sleep at eight o'clock i wake up at four I'm a psychopath. That's crazy. I'm not like a Hollywood. I don't go out. I'm not like a club you gal. You go to sleep at eight o'clock? I'm so fucking early. Yeah, I'm a grandma. What I, yeah. the fuck? No, I'm, I'm fucked up. But oh, I- continue. I, I mean, I, that's- I would walk him and it's dark, it's dark out in the morning. And yeah. like, you know, you're walking around like homeless people, just like trying not to like, Thank God he like has a good sense about him because he's a good guard dog. Because I heard German yeah. Shepherds are good guard dogs. Yeah, he's good. He can yeah. like sense that something's off. Um, right, right, right. It's still like I didn't want to like walk him on. There's fucking glass everywhere. Um, and the the kicker was they built a magic show above my bedroom. The Houston brothers decided that they their next restaurant venture would be a magic show. Oh damn. And, um. I just didn't want to have to deal with doves flying into my window. Yeah. I'm so over it. So you're living near magicians. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> I mean, this is not the vibe for me, man. Like, I'm not. Okay. So you moved again. So then I moved to Burbank. <laughs> okay. That's a step up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, was, is it near the Ikea over there? There's a nice Ikea. Yeah. yeah I there. was living. I, I moved to another spot in Burbank. But when I first moved here, yeah. Um, I moved a lot, but yeah. Now I'm 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 exclusively in um the suburban streets of Burbank. Okay, and, yeah, uh, Burbank's the it's a lot I, more uh, laid back over oh there. Oh my god, I got fucking neighbors with children. It's yeah, like, I live next to an Outback Steakhouse and a Krispy Kreme drive-through. I mean, oh right, right. Crazy. How's the rent out there in Burbank compared to these other places in the city? Um, so I think it's weird because I. I'm currently living in a place, my 
it was my landlord's super old and it was like his daughter's house and he doesn't he's very hands-off so it's like our rent my boyfriend actually haggled for the rent here mm-hmm. um and the guy was like fine um that's fine and I was like how could you how did you just haggle on rent he's like I just want people in there I don't want to have to deal with people moving in and out like I want people that are I'll make the rent low just stay in the fucking house and just how how much how cheap is it um <laughs> it's a it's a two bedroom and we pay two grand a month for house. what we're not moving out what that's a great deal i know two Huge grand backyard. yeah it looks like a house it's a fucking house for just two thousand yeah what yeah. the fuck i know utilities included no but why do you keep at are your utilities included yeah oh, but it's not a house one? you're the only one <laughs> yeah i have rent control <laughs> but that's a gr- you have a great deal yeah yeah, yeah. It's, oh it's my crazy. god yeah. So I don't want to move out. Anytime. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, All right. Good. So you're set. You're set on your uh, living yeah, situation not, there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's not here. Like we can just. But the problem is yeah. like if it breaks or whatever. Like if the plumbing's fucked. Like we got to fix it. Well, that's you. That's manageable. Yeah, it's fine. Just hire a plumber. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did you get Um, how did you start getting representation and because it said you, you've worked for Xbox and Sprite yeah. and Old Spice, American Express. Are those commercials? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how did you, how did you progress to getting that spot? And then, because because you're with Gersh, right? Yeah. Because that's a prestige. That's one of the mo the 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 main juggernauts. Yeah. Yeah. That was so. I actually got my agent at Gersh. I was doing stand up, and he was there like the american dream story and he was like hey. so let's let's talk about that night so uh, to describe gersh is one of the biggest agencies in they're, they're the world good. they're good they're they're just they were looking for people that like do it all that's like the thing now they're like we don't we just want someone that can like can you write can you act can you just like we just do everything yeah we'll, we'll represent so, so okay tell us about that night so where were you doing your set at i was doing it at um the the dojo. Okay. Oh, where's that at? At Laurel Tavern. Oh, that's uh, it's in the neighborhood. Yeah, and I closed yeah. It recently. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Oh, that's in the neighborhood. Okay, okay. It's Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had so I started doing stand up. Uh, maybe like two years ago or something like that. Um, because I, you know, like writing sketches, whatever. I've been doing that for a while. And yeah. I like, okay, I want to finally do that and um my friend stevie different stevie um was doing stand-up and he's like just come with me like just come to open mics whatever um so i ended up doing it was just like i'm sad because i felt like i was finally getting in the groove of it and now i can't like go to an open mic anymore so it's just kind of a bummer but what are you gonna do um but yeah i don't know i was just doing uh, i had a good set i guess and then i just like and then someone approached you after your set yeah yeah so i was just talking to like we were all talking and then this guy came up and was like hey i'm carlos here's my card like would love to chat with you and oh like, and that's how it went down yeah but oh, I, had, wow. I had had um so when i was living in new york i was every day on every casting website you could possibly find how like just submitting myself for everything everything and i ended up getting an agent for print because i had been i started modeling when i was still in high school so right. I had a book and i remember thinking like okay well this was my thought process when i was like 16 modeling i was like all right I, there's such zero longevity to this career path and i don't really want to do this for the rest of my life but i think it'll be a good segue to at least get me like some connections maybe get some commercial work maybe from there i'll like start getting some like little tv stuff and like maybe you know one thing will kind of snowball into the other yeah so that's kind of what happened because i got um an agent for modeling when i was in new york and so i was able to like i I got i got work doing that and then um i was submitting myself for commercials i ended up booking some commercials that i just submitted myself on and then i oh you didn't have to audition 
No, no, no. I, I submitted myself to like go on the audition. Oh, then. well, so that's that takes extra initiative. Yeah, I was to like, submit well, yourself. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, because no, because I, I was in, in early 2000. I was in the commercial game and yeah. I never I just showed up to these, you know, like 200 South La Brea or I would yeah. show up to, yeah. you know, here or there. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, so you you took that extra step to submitting your your stuff to them. Yeah. Well, I was like, I don't have an agent and I want to do this. So like, here's just. Wow. Let and then you reap the benefits because I'm reading here. You've yeah. booked. Uh, what was it like? What was it like working on that Sprite ad? That was really cool. That was here. Um, I it that was a print job that shot. Um, in New York. So I actually flew to New York to do it. Um, that was awesome. I mean, it was just like a, how crazy is this? That's crazy. Kind of um, yeah. yeah. And then, it was cause really I, and then what about Xbox? I'm a gamer myself. Uh, what was that experience like? Xbox was the first commercial that I got in New York that I submitted myself on. And, uh, then, and then the, 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 they just reached out to you like, okay, we want it. We I auditioned for it and they were like, yeah, you're, I don't even remember what it was. Wow. I did it too. I think I did one here. I did one, I did a, a commercial here for like some game. I think it was an Xbox game that was like about football players. They had like a bunch of like famous football players. Yeah. There. But it's, I don't know. I'm not that's, a game. That's crazy. And then, yeah. so were they, the regional national campaigns? Um, Some of them were national. Some of them were. Regional. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I remember a lot of the early ones uh, were non-union, so I was mm. just kind of like a flat rate, but I was like, whatever, fuck it. So then I, I had stuff. So when I moved here, I got an agent here, um, and then I just kind of kept submitting myself still for things. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then at a certain point, I just was, I was getting a lot of like acting stuff, but none of it was like, it was like Latina cop. Like, yeah, yeah. Super like mysterious hooker. And I was like, I just can't really, I don't want to do okay. that. Right, right, Not right. That I wanted to like act, but that just seems like maybe you guys could like submit me for some comedy stuff. And they were like, no, I don't think so. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I'll just start like making my own stuff then. And so then that's kind of. Yeah. And that's a great segue because you do um, your own content as well. Um, I, you have I, a YouTube channel, right? I do. Okay. Let's talk about that. So when did you decide to, to, to start doing the YouTube thing? about two years ago uh-huh i just was like so sick of not doing the things that i wanted to do so um luckily i met a friend uh who was experienced doing it so we started working together and writing and then just i just was like all right well i should just probably start my own while i'm you know doing this so and, then yeah and then you just came up with your own content and yeah. ideas and stuff just, like trying to figure out how to edit things and so did I you you learned all that yeah Okay, use Premiere and everything, yes, Adobe Premiere. Oh, okay. So, you, so you're on. You, you, you just same, yeah. same with me. I had. You yeah, have to learn. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. USB, USB <laughs> uh, drive. Yeah. How do you come up? I want to know this because you have you do interesting videos on your Instagram as well. Yeah. How do you come up with, uh, your the ideas of um, of like the uh music the the, the music oh. videos yeah how do you oh. come up with all that that's so random so i just started doing that because i was like i just this is fun to me and then people were like yeah this is great but how do i i, I have like i feel like a sense of duty to like bring back the songs that i feel like the generation that is here now like they just don't oh because you have a wide variety you, you've I even do. covered cypress hill Fuck yeah, none of it's current. And they liked it. I saw that they liked your video. It is so cool that like- I mean, I, how did that make you feel? I mean, that guy, that dude's an OG. Like my heart sank. I was like, this is like- Like be real, like like your shit. It's crazy. Like when I tell you, I had Killer Mike repost one of my videos and like- Wait, Killer Mike from Run yeah, the Jewels, Killer yeah, Mike? Get yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God. Like this shit, like it, I have chills talking about it. I'm such like a big- Oh dude, those dudes are fan. raw. Yeah, I'm, they're dope. Like, that to me is like the ultimate, like, this is so fucking cool. Killer Mike liked your shit too. Reposted it, son. He reposted it. That's so crazy. Isn't it crazy we're in the age now? Like back in the day, that would have never, that never. would have been hard to get their attention. But now you could do it on your own platform to get your heroes or people you look up to. 
That's so yeah, crazy. It really was like, it's so cool. So, but I just do it because I feel like there's so many good, th- like the music that I like, I don't- You hear. have like a wide variety. You like I everything, do. right? Yeah, very um, across the board. Eclectic, yeah. Very eclectic as long as it's like not anything that's like new. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it does it take because I because I because uh, I like look at the edits. Is does it take a long time to edit those? It no. seems like there's a lot of cuts and it's really not that it takes me maybe 15 minutes. So you do it on your phone or how do you yeah. do that? Yeah, it's so easy. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's probably like 15 minutes of my life, my life that I could probably like be spending like, you know, learning like a trait that'll help. Yeah. I mean, like, but it's fun. So I just do it anyway. That's great. Keep it up. That's it's 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 good shit. Um, I wanted to end by um talking about uh your uh, the Sorry Mom podcast because that's still happening. You still gotta right? come on, huh? So you still have to. I come know on. what's going I know. on. I would love to. I would love to. I would love to. Um, I want to start out because I want to promote it here and then talk about. Okay, so that's you and Sydney's. It is. Um, so yeah. talk about. Um, yeah, like how people could watch it. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, so um, you could go on our website. Okay, what is it? Uh, sorrymompodcast.com. Mm-hmm. We have a YouTube. It's just Sorry Mom Podcast. We've got um, spot. It's on Apple, whatever, fucking yeah. podcast, Spotify, wherever you can find it. Just Sorry Mom Podcast. That's it. That's and the then how many episodes deep are you guys into uh, your the podcast? I just finished editing episode 132. Whoa. What are That's you so, on right now? Uh, 190. Oh, close. Uh, yours yeah, is going to be 201. I have open mic eagle is going to be right before you. He's 200 and then you're going to be 201. That's yeah. so crazy. Isn't it crazy? You're like, I've yeah, done so many. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I realized though? Because it's like, I noticed that like, the views have kind of gone down, but because people are fickle nowadays, it's like it's yeah. hard to kind of capture their attention. And I noticed maybe a reason why is because um, these Zooms are cool, but I think you can't really replace. It, you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't replace yeah. the act, people coming and being there because it's, it's a so different good. it's a different vibe. You know what it I mean? It really is. Yeah. But fuck it. You know what? But like, I feel like I have to because COVID and all this I shit's know. going down and, and like, know. what else am I supposed to do? You, you know, gotta fucking talk about shit. That's not COVID. People don't want to hear about COVID anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, let's just not talk about it. For- yeah, but I'm also adding to the fact that it's the re- COVID's the reason why I oh, can't yeah. have people come through and For you know sure. what I mean? People are paranoid, man. Yeah, absolutely. But it's like as long as you know, we, we just need to escape. That's why we do what we do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just like let's just have fun. No. Do you have any advice for people who want to start doing this content? What, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, just don't do it. No. Um, <laughs> Find a plan B. Um, no. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what Sorry. I was no, expecting. Just be, just be like, you know, don't be afraid. Don't read the comments, man. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, know, I don't. That's my advice. It's just like, yeah. Because it could be 90% good. And then that one comment could Isn't it mess crazy? you up. Yeah. I, Jimmy and from they, Idaho. And, and it's not, they're not general comments. They like attacked your character <laughs> and your, who they're you like, are. And, <laughs> fuck is wrong with you it's like yeah i just am trying man like you know you you know my whole attitude is like dude i don't i'm doing this i'm giving this content i'm just putting this out there and it's like it's hard enough to like edit this shit or whatever i'm doing and it's like i it's just kind of like it kind of it just kind of it's salty you know it is it's salty yeah 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 you know f all the haters man um, and I no, want to also throw out there consistency. Consistency is the big. You can't give up because it's gonna. It's really hard. It's like hard to do this. I feel like it looks so easy and like it doesn't take any time. But like, there's so much. To, just be prepared. Well, not only that, planning. Because sometimes, so sometimes time. it doesn't go your way. So no. you know, uh, you know, I don't want. I'm not gonna put people on blast. But I've reached out to uh, people out there where. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever reached out to a guest where they're like so iffy, but they don't say yes or no? Yes. It's in this gray area. I don't like and that. It, it, it's like, I'd rather you just say, no, I don't want to do it. Right. Yeah. But, but there's certain guests where I've been dealing, like I've dealt with them almost like years. 
Yeah. Where I, they're like, oh, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I don't just know like how I feel. Point. I'm not in a good like, place oh, right now, but it's like six months would go by. I'll hit them up again. Uh, yeah. I'm just still not in a good place. I'm working on this <laughs> other thing. I'd rather have them say, because I already know that they don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> just say, <laughs> I, I'm not going to do it. I'd respect that. I'd be like, all right, cool, cool. I'll just move right, on. Yeah. You should write them and just be like, look, I don't want to do this anymore. Have so, you dealt have you dealt with this? Yes, absolutely. Where it's, they don't say yes or no, but they kind of leave it where they give you I, kind I, of I hope. Get, they give you hope. It, it makes me so mad when they do that that I no longer want to, to do it anymore. So I just like I'm done. I because I know when I sit down with that person, I can't not bring that up. I can't not start the conversation with like, so what the fuck? It'll man? make it more awkward. Yes, absolutely. See that, and then you wouldn't be true to yourself because you're holding this back like what the fuck it? now yeah. you're finally here. Why didn't yeah. what took you so yeah. long? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? You've been in a very bad place for a long time, which is why we're doing this so long after I initially asked you. That's what I would yeah. say. How's yeah. How's your emotional and mental health? I would rather respect a yes or a no. Yeah. Just like give it to me straight. But yeah. you know, I'm kind of hypocritical. I think I've done that too, where but I'm, not, I'm honest with them. I, I like, OK, so because people have been asking me, and I'm like, because I'm working on music, too. So I'm like, oh, cool. I'm trying to finish this project. Yeah. I don't want to do all this. I'd rather do get my shit done and then right. go on it well, then so I can promote not- something. Yeah, I have. And like, I'm not because I let people know, like, no, I'm not yeah. doing any right now. Yeah. Yeah. But, have, that's what I'll do. I'll just be like, look, I just like it's not a good time. Like, I'll say like if you want to circle back in a few months, like, I think like I'll be good, but like right now I just can't do it. It's not feasible. I'm not going to be an entertaining guest. on your Yeah. Show. Have you, you had people where you reach out to and they say yes, like, then, like a DM they're like, yes, I'm down. But then, then it goes cold. You never hear from them again. <laughs> yes, of course. It's like, Okay. So you, you've dealt with that where they go, yeah. no, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. And then Which you hit them up. I felt, I felt so bad when you kept reaching out to me because I can't. Oh, no, I, I knew you'd come through though. I knew you'd come through you because you, help. once you said, um, cause I can only imagine, do you get hit up a lot? Like on your D like, yeah, but it's, it's, I, cause I get flooded just with yeah. my, with my, the people on my shit, but you must have just, a. it's just random. over. I just, over. I just lose important things. And I, they, they, made like the general on the primary they just like pop that out of nowhere and i never like i ne- yeah he's everywhere now it's that's just- why i wasn't tripping i'm like oh she probably is flooded that's have- the word your shit's it's, flooded it's, it's yeah it's not. i'm like please just send me an email anybody that's important just send me an- my brother will sometimes be like you good i like i yeah me- I well can he just text, text you that's what I said. I was like, you have my phone number. You have a direct fucking line, brother. Just call me. Just call me. Am I okay? Look, I appreciate your time. It's, I appreciate you for having me. Um, Thank you're, you. you're, this is where we're kind of, kind of wrapping it up here. We're doing um, it. I, this is the time where I want you to uh, say your socials, your okay. website, any okay. projects you have and all um, that good stuff. Go okay. ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, my Instagram at Nikki underscore Howard, N I K K I underscore Howard. I think that's also my TikTok as well. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what's your, okay, that's your TikTok as well. I think, yeah, it is. Okay, okay. And yeah. then you oh have a God. website. You have a website. I, I as have well. a website, uh, Nikki A Howard dot com. My YouTube is just Nikki Howard. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I put Sorry Mom podcast. Okay, and they could just type that into Google and find type it. Type it in anywhere. Yeah, you'll find it. And then do you have any, is there any uh, projects that you're writing or stuff um, comedy weekly wise? Sketches, weekly sketches on YouTube. Um, and Can you plug your YouTube channel again? Uh, it's Nikki Howard. YouTube. Just Nikki, Howard. Nikki Howard. I'm the worst at this, by the way. I'm realizing. No, 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 no. And you, you're still, you're still active on that. Didn't you just post something a couple days yeah, ago? Posted. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Facebook. Facebook, Nikki Alexis Howard. I'm trying to get my oh, Facebook. Oh, damn. You're getting your Facebook I'm on now. I'm it all. I'm like, they're like, what? My fucking, my, I realized, by the way, that I don't think I ever deleted my MySpace. Did you? Oh, damn. I don't think I, I have. I thought about I was like, we all just forgot. And my, they're all up. So is it still there? I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> you just give me a panic attack almost. I swear to God, I thought about it the other day. I was like, oh, my God. 
Did everyone do this? And so I, Tom is still alive? I don't fucking, I haven't been on in years, but I would like, if maybe oh we all- Oh my that God, album. that'd be interesting. A walk down memory lane, the MySpace memory lane. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. weird? You know what's even more weirder is Instagram's going to be like MySpace one day. Yes. And then we're going to be on some other shit. And do you remember those Instagram days? Yeah, like, I remember you know, going on fucking Kazaa and like downloading my music. Oh, and snap. Good song. But oh, my God. So in like a few years, it's going to be the other thing. In a few years, fucking Spotify is going to be Kazaa. Yeah, Spotify. Wow. Yeah, I know. I'm not even on it. I know. It's a whole thing. You're it's not a on whole Spotify. No, I'm not even on spot. I have some music on there, but not like yeah. some of my some of my stuff's not on there. Are you on SoundCloud? No, I'm on Bandcamp. Oh. I like Bandcamp because they, you if people want to support you, they can support you directly and you know how many songs That's or cool. albums you're really selling. That's cool. Because like with Spotify, like they're not going to tell you what Spotify how many people. Than- yeah, they're not going to tell you who's streaming, you know, like uh, so who's streaming where where this stream's coming from i don't think they yeah. do i don't know i don't know i don't unless you're like huge you know yeah yeah I yeah sure. yeah, yeah um, I'm, I'm cool with Bandcamp for right now because at least i know who's supporting me hell yeah all right well that's i guess that's that's all the time we have um okay so that's what we have Wait, before you go okay that's it but before you go do you think sydney would be open to doing an interview as well yeah, for sure Okay, I'll I'll holler I'll yeah, holler I'll, at her. Okay, I'll yeah, 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 yeah. Because I wanted yeah. to get both, so you know, it, it'll be good for the sorry mom uh, yeah. brand. You know, the entity. That yeah, is the so entity. Cool. I appreciate your time. Thanks for showing up. You're you very you're very prompt, and usually when I at when I um, invite funny. someone, yeah. it takes them it takes them a while. Uh-huh. But you like join right away. I'm like, I'm oh, here for. I'm I'm, I'm like disgustingly early. Always know that. That's always a good prompt. quality. Thank you. That's a good quality to have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Thank you. you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Peace. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go, man. She was prompt. I like that. She was on time. Everything went smoothly. Um, I got, I don't have my cheat sheet again, but uh, I have a website, uh, stevieweebyshow.com. If you want any type of merch, just know it'll be delayed a little bit because of this COVID thing. Um, my band camps at Stevie we I mean my music's at my band camp stevieweebybandcamp.com I am like 97.5% done with uh, the I Feel Stir Crazy album but it's getting there it's real close I know and I've been saying that every week but I don't know I've been throwing a little uh, I just worked on this other interlude kind of singing thing I'm doing on it but just bear with me Stick with me. It'll be worth it. I think it, the project's going to be dope. Um, Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Um, if you want to help support this content, patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. I'm still doing this, even though the, I, I noticed that once I started in the war zone shit, people are like watching that more than in, the interviews. I don't know what's happening, folks, but tell a friend is... My interviews ain't going nowhere. I'm sc- still going to be doing them, okay? Um, what was I going to say? I think that's it. Patreon, Instagram. Yeah. Lil Ray, look out for Lil Ray. He might be having some cameos on the new album. And according to him, I think that he's trying to outdo me, you know, as far as uh, the songwriting stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Love y'all. Um, peace.